How does code coverage for automation work for game test automation? What are some of the top continuous automation testing platforms? And have you seen this cool method to help troubleshoot Java applications? Find out in this episode of the Test Guild Dev SecOps News Show for the week of January 15th. So grab your favorite cup of coffee or tea and let's do this. The awesome folks at Apply Tools sponsor this Test Guild News Show episode. Still not doing visual validation testing? Why not? This year, more than ever, you need to learn the difference between functional and visual testing gaps that functional testing misses and how visual tests help you to deliver a better user experience, which is more important now than ever. And it's easier now than ever to get started. All you need to do is create a free Apply Tools account using the link in the first comment down below to take your automation efforts to the next level this year. First up, automation news. So our first post is... So Alan Page linked to someone else's post on code coverage for game test automation. Anytime I see something by Alan Page linking to something else, and at the same time, I've seen Wayne commenting on it as well. I know it's going to be a good resource that you need to look at as well. So the actual article was written by Henry Golding. And what's cool is he shares some thoughts on how to effectively use code coverage in a C++ game test automation context. And he starts off the article with, some good use cases for coverage data. One of them is finding untested code. The second one is optimizing test selection by automatically filtering out a relevant test to run on a change list. I, I love that one, I love number two. And the third one is when used with extreme caution, obviously, is getting a general sense for how testing is happening. Is there lots of, some, none, and some trends, whether it's going up, if it's flat, or if it's down. And he goes over some reasons why code coverage can't tell you how good your tests are, What's a terrible target, different kinds of coverage, and some recommendations. So definitely a must-read article, and you can find it in the first comment down below. So another thing I know a lot of testers struggle with is how do I test audio or visual quality for, say, an iOS application? Well, Sauce Labs just released some new functionality to actually help you do this. And it goes over some use cases why this is important, especially with game development studios, media companies, educational institutions, and entertainment platforms. So this feature is now just for native iOS apps, while support for native Android applications and cross-browser web testing will be launching later this year. So it's a good time to get your hands dirty and try this out for yourself. And it goes over some of these things that Sauce Labs audio output testing can help you with, like you can hear your app sound in real time, you can verify whether your in-app capabilities perform under various device conditions. You can validate the audio stream of a video embedded in your application. And you can verify that in-app audio interactions work with certain elements are triggered in real time. And it also goes over some things that it can help you with streaming, testing, and a bunch of other use cases that you may find helpful as well. So definitely some cool new features released by Sauce Labs. And you can check that out in the first comment down below as well. So another company that released some new features this week that you also might find helpful is Lambda Test. So Lambda Test announced that they just launched Test Analytics. So this functionality allows you to add custom widgets as well as custom dashboards to access more comprehensive views of your test execution. This release offers DevOps teams the ability to track the progress and quality of testing spanning several Lambda Test product lines through personalized dashboards that aim to enable improved decision making. So if you're using Lambda test, definitely some functionality that's going to aim to save you a bunch of time and definitely check it out. So want to know what the top 15 continuous automation testing platforms are? Well, Diego from Forrester just released their 2012 Q4 wave evaluation. And this report evaluated over 60 vendors and only 15 made it to the top based on the revenue, the infusion of AI, and the top customer test case technology vendors think are mostly required by their customers and their customers as well. So if you saw my top 13 trends for 2023, I mentioned the rise of test management platforms, and this is just some validation here. Diego also mentions that the biggest transition they've seen is a platform approach that offers the ideal environment for all types of testing and testers while integrating with a bunch of different other tools with great test experience through all the different phases of the software and development lifecycle and DevOps, AI Cloud, CI CD, and automation, are all some of the top key features that they've identified in this report. One thing that really popped out out of this is that 72% of their customers claim that their enterprises prefer an integrated testing platform approach over best-of-breed tools that address different types of testing. 
So some of the top 15 that they identified, and these are a lot of these are also sponsors of Test Guild, are Excel Q, Apply Tools, they have Key Sites here, Microfocus, PowerSoft, Perfecto Software, Sauce Lab, SmartBear, Tricentis. If you want to actually read the report, I don't have the report. And the reason why is it costs $3,000. So uh, what I would do is follow some of these companies because uh, a lot of these companies that are featured in this report will give you more insight because they have some of the information that's embedded in these reports because they're some of the vendors that were actually selected. So definitely to read what I have, you could find it in the first comments down below. So congratulations to all the Test Guild sponsors that actually made it in this year's Forrester Continuous Automation Testing Platforms report. So anyone that knows me knows I love hearing about new tools. So this next resource is by Ashish. So Ashish actually reached out to me on LinkedIn and told me that he's been associated with test automation for close to a decade now. He's worked with a wide variety of tools like Selenium to Playwright, Test Complete, Ranorex, but he always found that the tools really missed out on scriptless testing. So he linked to me a solution I believe he created called Cognizant Intelligent Test Scripter. And so this is an open source scriptless test automation solution that provides a unified interface for all day-to-day -day test automation activities, such as test design, development, execution, reporting, and maintenance. And he also created a video going over this tool and how you can use it to automate a bunch of different things. So thank you for this resource, Ashish. I haven't tried it myself, but if you have, you can try it out and let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. All right, not sure if you're sick of hearing about it yet, but this is a money segment on chat gpt how microsoft is betting big on the creators of chat gpt and a race to dominate ai so in 2019 microsoft invested 1 billion in open ai which is the company that actually designed chat gpt and this year they're going to invest 2 billion more and i've always said money is a key indicator when companies are pushing money especially 3 billion dollars worth you need to pay attention to chat gpt i have seen a lot of posts where people just dismissing chat gpt I think ChatGPT is definitely going to be something we'll be seeing more of, especially in the testing space. And Microsoft themselves said they plan on actually incorporating it. Microsoft plans to rapidly build and deploy new products based on this technology. So definitely a must read. You should definitely check out also. Next up, performance and site reliability news. So obviously more and more folks are using Kubernetes. So I found this other free resource to help you. As I said, I love tools. and I think this might help you as well, especially with Kubernetes. I'm not sure if I'm saying this correctly, but it says Commodore goes freemium. I never heard of Commodore before. So when, when I clicked on it to find out more what this tool does, it simplifies Kubernetes for developers. It helps you manage, observe, and troubleshoot issues. And it has Kubernetes expertise built in, like best practices for configuration, automated troubleshooting, Kubernetes concepts explains, out-of-the-box alerting. And it says it's supposed to be free forever. So you have nothing to lose by checking it out and see if it can help you with your Kubernetes testing efforts as well. So this next article comes your way via Iran Kinsbrunner. If you don't know, I have two big announcements. The first one is, I was kind of shocked, is Iran Kinsbrunner, who's been one of the automation testing experts, a lot of people have been following for years, has made the jump over to a different company called Lightrun, which is not an automation testing tool. If you don't know, Lightrun is a developer observability platform. I've seen a lot of testers make this move from automation testing to these observability platforms that tend to fit in more with probably SRE type of situations. And this article is a guide to how to troubleshoot Java applications using dynamic instrumentation. And it goes into detail what traditional troubleshooting and debugging looks like, why the old way of doing it is costly for different reasons, and an alternative approach using dynamic instrumentation and logging. And he actually has an example of how to do this using Lightrun, which has a free trial that you can try out and goes step-by-step step implementing it. So congratulations, Iran, for your new position. And thank you for letting me know about this new resource and this new article. I'm sure we're going to learn a lot more about observability from you. So thank you for that. And for links of everything available we covered in this news episode, head on over to links in the first comment down below. And while you're there, make sure to check out our sponsor, Apply Tools free account offer and discover how to take your automation testing to the next level, leveraging visual AI. So that's it for this episode of the Test Guild News Show. I'm Joe. My mission is to help you succeed in creating end-to-end -end full stack pipeline automation awesomeness. As always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.